So folk wax, today I'm back with another sketchbook tour. This one's my most recently finished sketchbook. And I lied, that other sketchbook I did, that one was not the chunkiest sketchbook. And this is also not the chunkiest sketchbook ever. In fact, these are actually the chunkiest sketchbooks that I have. As you can see, they are extra, super, ultra mega chunky, that while the other big. ones are just somewhat chunky. Impressive. But yeah, and those sketchbook tours are also very old, so if uh, you want to check those out, you can. The videos aren't good though, but I don't feel like doing a remake of them because that's kind of redundant. So yeah, on to the actual sketchbook tour itself. So this one I made fairy tale themed. Really love how this all came out. This was the sketchbook that ArtX gave me. Also, I this was supposed to have like a little thing, uh, like a little pocket thing, but I kind of glued some stuff on here, so I never used it. But frankly, um, since the way it kind of like closes is a bit awkward, so it's best that I didn't use it anyway. Anyways, um, in the Garden of Hopes and Dreams, she was free to follow her heart. She was to remember these fond memories and all the fairy tales. Well, that's very wholesome and cute. The story begins. You can do it. You are magical. So as you're going to see, um, a good chunk of the sketchbook is actually just like collage pages like this. I actually really love this spread. It's just really satisfying to just look at a spread and just like, I love that. That's like the best feeling ever. So this was that demon chick for that one video I did with the uh, Art X markers. And these were two characters inspired by a dream that I had about them. This is Miriam and this is Deloro and I love their designs. I haven't figured out like a story for them yet, but Deloro is supposed to be like, he's kind of like Megamind in a way. Like he's very over the top and silly, but he's like supposed to be like a super villain, but no one really takes him that seriously. And Miriam is like his assistant. I really love the spread, pink and blue. I was trying to go for a fruit go arrow thing here and it just, uh, it was all right, I guess. The uh, stuff that I printed out didn't really fit, so yeah. Another spread. Oh, I drew some really old OCs. We got Seth and Jasper, and then we got some other unrelated stuff. Not sure why I did all this. And then I drew something based on a flower I saw. One must have patience, my dear. Okay, um, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I just put like random shit together and call it a day. So this was a character I got, and then I'm kind of debating on whether or not I should keep him. I can't really think of a good story for him, but I drew this, I think, when I was at Otakon. Um, yeah, I remember that I was starting to work on the sketchbook around Otakon time, so that's been, that's fun. Or maybe this is the page where I was working on Otakon. I can't remember. So these actually were stickers I got from Otakon, so that's pretty neat. And yeah, I was doodling this, uh, I forget when, but I was doing it sometime when I was there. You know, surprisingly, I didn't really draw much at Otakon because I was too busy doing other stuff, but these are just doodles of uh, stuff while I was there. I can kind of remember what I was doing. I think I was like, sit I think the reason why I was drawing much in the sketchbook is because we were doing a lot of walking around and there was not much time for me to sit and just draw. So when I got back to the hotel, I was too exhausted to really draw. So all the drawing I've done during the summer is going to be like, once I got back home. Anyway, and this is a uh, sort of character design idea I had based on um, Pound Town Hound's OC world lore. Uh, I'm gonna put like in the description, but basically it was the idea is that this dude goes around collecting skeletons and they're all, the skeletons are all like very colorful and he looks very intimidating, but also really cool at the same time. I love the design, but it's also very complicated, so I'm never gonna draw it again. This is just some random perfume thing. It still smells, by the way. I can smell it from here. And I just put it in there just because creepy my melody. I love this spread, but it destroyed my sketchbook. And that's why I had to put tape here and it ruined everything. But it's okay though, because it's Mitzi and Luca. So everything's cool. I'm a little sad though, because the photo cards I got, which I got from Otakon, unfortunately they got kind of messed up but you can't really see on camera so that's a good thing it's awesome anyway yeah i love this one i did a short for that and then i love this one we love luca 
Love him so much. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know why I made like his whole thing like cinnamon roll, but I don't know what other Sanrio character fits Luca's vibe. And of course, we had to have Ivan and Till together. Oh my gosh, I. <laughs> Every time I make a sketchbook tour, there's alien stage stuff. I just something always happens, and Ivan, I'm so sorry. Rest in peace. Uh, you deserve better. <laughs> Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh boy, I do like this page though. And I like Till's page X. I think it's actually one of my favorites. It's very colorful, uh, fits his vibe pretty well. Character designs that I had. This was um, based on an outfit I made in Life Makeover and then I came up with a character for it. I haven't really done much with him. I don't know if I really want to keep him as a character or not. That's kind of what I've been doing lately, but uh, he's just kind of- but I did draw him out anyway, like did Julie. And then this is another character concept, she's in the work- well, all the other- some things in the works, but her name is Princess Victoria, and I changed up her hair because I hate how it looks here, it looks ugly, this whole picture looks ugly. And this is her, Princess Victoria's, like, assistant, who's like a clown doll named Angelise, so, yeah. I'm working on all their lore at the moment, so why I'm being kind of elusive about it. Another spread that got messed up because this book was falling apart. Fortunately, the way this book is kind of structured makes it kind of difficult to like, uh, do spreads and stuff. But, like, it kind of started to fall apart, so I had to do a lot of like, taping to keep everything together, so it kind of ruined the aesthetic. I don't know why I did flossing and... I think it's because I just had this for my toothpaste or whatever and I was like oh I can make a spread based off of that and then this well this is so true scrapbooking is cheaper than therapy it's great oh we have we have a magical talking tree unconvinced I wonder what the tree is gonna say I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass well that's pretty interesting very insightful another collage really like this song oh I got these things from Otakon they're very cute I, I was really shocked when I saw Dragon Quest stuff at Otokan. I was really happy because Dragon Quest seemed so obscure. So I was I just had to get it, you know what I mean? I had to represent my obscure fandom. And then we have this concept that I had, but uh, I never really did anything with it after I drew it. It's supposed to like this bug dude. And my like in my head, he looks more intimidating, but here he just looks really cunty. And I'm just like, okay. I mean, Slay, I guess, but that's not really what I was going for. But that wasn't the vibe. Like, I was trying to make him more, like, Cell. Like, imperfect Cell vibes, in a way. But, like, slightly more sleek. And he looks more like he's just a slight... Like, a very sexy bug man or something. Which, eh. I don't, that's not the vibe I was going for. Ah, oh, well. Fan art of Poundtown Hounds OC, Mirror Forest. He's, like, one of my favorite characters from her. And then we have... Art of the Red Riding Hood and the wolf from that one fan made MV I made like three years ago. I kind of been debating if I want to remake it, but that's gonna take forever. But I have wanted to like redraw like the thumbnail for it because I think that's doable. Another collage. Nice girl from Good Home. It seems that she's always there. I like the spread. It's very uh, coquette and cutesy. I'm not sure what I was going for for this uh, collage. I think I just had like stuff together. I was like, eh, I might, do, might as well do something. So, yeah. God is always watching. That's why you must behave yourself, okay? I'm scared of hell, so I pray. Promote good. I believe in God, therefore I go to church. And for context, these are all from like my um, philosophy class that I took like two years ago. So that's so it's not like I just randomly drew these or anything like that. They're, they're from my notes. I used to do it a lot in my notes, so I cut all of them out from like my books and stuff, from like my journals that I write the notes in. So yeah, that's pretty neat. That's why like a lot of them are just so funny out of context looking back on it. And this, these are, so this is something I found outside on the ground and I did clean it by the way. I thoroughly cleaned it. I just thought it was so colorful looking that I had to like put it in my sketchbook. Anyway, so these are like flavors of something i don't know um tag yourself on which flavor you are i'm kind of vibing with um either berry bliss blue mint or uh fucking fab uh yes 
they couldn't have the uh, the letters rearranged. They just it was a little too far. They couldn't have the F word in there. Redraw something I saw on Pinterest, and it's giving very like Tetsuya Nomura vibes with like the shading and the way she's smiling. It's give, it's remind me of Sword from Kingdom Hearts or something like that. Me attempting to draw a character that I recently well. As the time of drawing it was recent, but something a character I got from someone on Toy House, and then eventually I drew her out, and then I decided to use this opportunity to like reboot these old character designs that I had, and they all became like this whole ass like family magical girl esque unit. Yes, they're all related. Yes, even them, they're all related. I'm gonna show the final art on the screen. I like this page. Actually, I got this all this stuff from like this house sculpture I made like back in 2021 for a class and I just kind of took everything apart because I didn't really need the house thing anymore and it wasn't that good. Also, it was just taking up space. So I was like, I'm just going to take all the collage stuff that I put on it that I can salvage and just take it and put it in my sketchbook. So that's what I did. I just love this page. It's very nice, very aesthetic. Ooh, this spread's really nice. I love playing out spreads in a way when they're like color code like this. I'm not the biggest fan of yellow. It's gonna take more time for me to grow on the color yellow. So I just put like random shit. I don't even know what, none of this is related to each other. Then some like stick figure doodles and yeah, tea. I love chamomile tea. It's freaking amazing. It's like the best tea ever. So this was when I started school recently and this was porch. Performance were basically like these dudes just kind of perform on a porch and this is just a Fixed old drawing. I didn't change too much of it. I just changed like the like the eyes a little bit and the Eyebrows and the face and like the pose but everything else is like I just kind of updated it a little bit And then this was me drawing like this dude that was sitting in front of me at the porch Concert thing and yeah, his hair literally did look like that. I mean the swirl wasn't there, but it definitely had that like look to it some random shit here. Oh, this is a redraw of something very, very, very old. This is from like middle school. Is that blood? No, but I'm wondering what this is because this certainly could not be blood if this is blood. That's crazy. What else could it be? Like this, it's cute. It's a cute redraw. I'm not sure what the context of why I drew it was. I'm not sure what the heck's going on with her hand. I'm not sure why the knife looks like that. You know what? This whole thing's a mess. Uh, moving on. Okay, this is like a redraw of like this thing I drew in middle school. It was like a comic. It makes no fucking sense. I'm gonna go through it because it's really funny, but also it's really stupid. So brace yourself. And no, I'm not gonna do anything crazy voice wise. I'm just gonna read it and just let the oh, editing no, process like add to the comedy. I forgot about the plan. Then how can we skate, moron? Hmm. I remember now. You check the guards. I, I check our skate pole. Oh, duh. Let's do this. Yo, Hill, over here. Huh? Where am I? Oh, the light. Ah. Oh my, my dress is all wet, and I have a tail. I'm a mermaid. So that made absolutely no sense. Like, what? That... I I don't even know what the context was. It's just, these girls were in jail, they escape, and then the other girl doesn't even make it out. Like, is she dead? How is she a mermaid? None of this makes sense. I'm not sure I made the line art look like this. This whole page makes me want to die. Anyway, moving on. Okay, this is like my favorite spread because it looks really good. I love the lion work of this. I love just how it came out. It's so pretty. Fable and Dilwyn, they're a traveling duo. Dilwyn escaped from these two demon sisters that captured him. And Fable is a horror fantasy writer who's experiencing art block for the very first time. And he's like, bro, I need to like, go on an adventure to like get inspiration again. And he meets Dilwyn and initially... <laughs> This is like so messed up, but it's also really funny. He's like, Dylan tells Fable about like what happened in his life because this backstory is really depressing. And Fable's like, hmm, you know, this seems like a really good inspiration for a new story. But after a while, like once they continue their journey and stuff, Fable realizes that he probably shouldn't use someone's trauma as like a basis for a story or like inspiration. So he doesn't do that and he does something different. But yeah, I don't know. I just think it's an interesting concept. And I just love how this page came out. It's just, ah, this brush. I love these types of brushes. It's amazing. I'm not the biggest fan of how Dylan's head here came out, but everything else is fine. Like I give it a pass because of how much I love this spread in general me attempting to do something else with this pen and it just the magic just kind of lost 
itself here a little bit. I had to like redo a bunch of stuff and also when I scanned it, I had to like edit everything because the scan washed out all the colors and I'm so upset. But it looks decent still, like I like how it looks. Very, he's a very handsome dude. We love how this face looks. And then we have another collage. So this is actually from the Otakon booklet that we got. I don't mind that I cut it up a little bit because I was just like, eh, I'm not really gonna read through it anyway. So I just cut out all like the pictures that I thought were scrapbook worthy and then I just put them together. Be sure to visit Storybook Land since 1955. Oh joy. Okay, so these were some concepts for something that had- Okay, so I, I got this adopt from someone on Toy House and I ended up giving up the character to someone else because I just couldn't think of a plot for them. But these were like initial sketches that he had for this is the character. I like, it was hard to interpret the design because it was made in Gaia Online. And I know that's like a throwback and whatnot. But yeah, I just, I could not think of like a good backstory or anything for her. And this, it was supposed to be like this toxic Yuri thing going on. I do like this design though. I think she, her design's pretty neat. But yeah, I just, I love like these two. Unfortunately, I'm sad that I didn't do anything with them. But yeah. I could- I might still do something with her in the future, who knows. Maybe there could be a Toxic Yuri thing in the future, but we'll have to see. Um, some random shit. Oh yeah, so remember those rainbow characters from like a few pages ago? Well, these- okay, the lore is really dark for them, the whole family, but basically. So there was a- if you noticed, there was no yellow or blue, it was just like- red, orange, green, purple, pink, and white. That's because the blue and, um, actually I actually don't know who, which one is which. I never specified which one. I just drew them. Anyway, so like, these two died. They got killed. And so like, the family is like kind of on a vengeance scheme at the moment. It's kind of like Jojo, but like more magical girl-ish, if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't, but the point is that they're dead and the family is like, we're gonna find the killer because that's messed up. And yeah, rest in peace to these two. Um, whichever one is blue and yellow, one was gold, uh, what was it? Gold Grandiosa and blue Bellicose. And they all had like musical, it was like a musical rainbow theme going on. That was pretty cute. I have no idea what's going on here. It's just stuff, no comment. So this was like during the peak of the Miku, Brazilian Miku trend. And I wanted to try my hand at a Miku design. So I was like, Okay, I'm gonna design uh, Maryland Miku. And the reason why it's gothic is because Edgar Allan Poe lived in Maryland. So I was like, oh, what if I made Miku, like Maryland Miku, like uh, Edgar Allan Poe inspired. And I'm not the biggest fan of the design. I do like the hair, but just if everything else was kind of boring, like I could have done better. And I also, the Raven just doesn't look the best. I'm so sorry, Marilyn Miku. I'll do better next time. And this was another design that kind of flopped a little bit. I might do something with it. Who knows? Some weird thing. It's it was it's one of those things. Where it's like this is cool in my head. Yeah, it's like it was cool in my head, but when I drew it out, it just did not look as cool in my head. Or like it was cool. Like it sucks. Like I messed up the eye here. It's supposed to be an eye, and just man, this was redrawn from an art book that I have from this one artist. Love how the face looks, very cute. Some mice, that was from the art book that I have from that artist, very cute. These are thumbnails for a zine thing I'm doing. I went with something completely different from all these, so I'm um, fortunate I can't even show the thing anyway. And this is another page that I really like. It's very cute, very colorful. Some of found objects often make the best keepsakes and decorative accents because they reflect a part of who you are. Well, you know what? That's pretty accurate considering I do all this scrapbooking collage shit. So, uh, I don't know what all of this says about me, but I guess it's that I really like colorful stuff. This was a redraw of like this, this like little figurine from like Pinterest. And this was literally what it actually was like on there. It's like a gory version of it or something like that. And I just redrew it, I thought it was neat. And then we have this, it's like a revised version of like this really old drawing from like, I'm gonna assume high school, it was probably high school. I, had, I didn't really fix up too much of it though. I just like added more of an outline and then yeah. Some thumbnails, I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly cause there's nothing really to say about this. Ooh, Mary Pop, Mary Pop is chowder. I don't know why I drew Mary Pop is chowder. 
Um, these were actually based on a uh, dream I had. The concept was like some sort of guardian angel and like a demon who were like the guardian angel was like weird looking and was protecting the girl and then the demon was coming after the girl for some reason. And then we have doodles of Vio. Okay, this is a redraw of like this old ass anime image that I was like, it embedded itself into my head. I was in love with it when I was a kid. Like I wanted to redraw it so bad and I finally did. I'm really proud of how the hands look. I just kind of sketched out pretty quickly. I was trying to fuse like that early 2000s anime style with my eye style and I think it worked out pretty nicely. But yeah, the early 2000s anime style has like really altered my brain chemistry. I am in love with it. I used to hate it for like a really brief period, but now I'm in love with it again. I think that's kind of just the like life cycle of a lot of people <laughs> currently is like you hate it and then you love it again. These are concepts for my character design class. This was like some thing I had where it was supposed to be like a group of kids that were like experiments and they all escaped or something like that. Um, I do like the designs, but I didn't go with this concept. Oh boy, this was, <laughs> I keep having alien stage dreams. This was a dream where uh, basically it was round seven. This was the cover image for some reason. It was, this is Kid Huna. This is Till and Luca, and they're in like a boxing thing. And then Mitzi, um, Isaac, and Dewey are like bunnies for some reason. There was some like trippy stuff in the background. It was so weird. And yeah, it was supposed to be about Hugh and Luca's childhood, and I don't know why the bunny thing was a thing. It was so weird. I keep having alien stage dreams. Vivinos and Kume, can you guys leave me alone? I'm tired of having alien stage dreams because I don't know if they're premonitions or if I am just too obsessed with the series and it's driving me nuts. This is my recent character, Jack. I made him. I really love with his design. He's like a pumpkin dude. He's kind of inspired by Cinderella. And this is his horse. And her name is Pumpkin Spice, and she's literally the cutest horse I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know if this is a good horse. I try my best, but yeah, she's so... This is so cute. And this is Jack as Cinderella, because he, like I said, he's Cinderella-inspired, but like more focused on like the pumpkin aspect. But yeah, this is just so cute. I love her face. It's I horses are cute, but also like in real life you see their teeth and they're kind of ugly. But like at the same time they're so cute, you know. It's it's one of those things where I just yeah. And then some doodles, the priest from Dragon Quest Three, and then the sage from Dragon Quest Three, and this was an attempt at me designing a concept that had Gotsune Miku. I did not like how the legs came out, so I had to cover everything with. Deer Park and gum and washi tape. Arusu drawing. Did this during class. I'm not the biggest fan of how it came out. It looks kind of eh. And then some thumbnails for my other summit for. Well, this is like the second summit from one of my classes. Some other thumbnails. And then these were concepts I had for a Dragon Quest Builders. Um, like, I don't know. Another Dragon Quest Builders game where it was like based off of. Dragon Quest Nine or something like that. And this was um, a concept that I had and I did, I hate how this came out. It was something they had that kind of evolved. If you saw that one community post where that um, sheep dude Zed, this is like where the original idea formulated. It was supposed to be two sheep, Nod and Zed. And they were supposed to be like, I don't know. I'm kind of like, I kind of want to go back to this concept a bit because I do like how they look. It was based on like this plushie that I have saved on my phone. Doodles, uh, Hello Kitty, but like scary. And then a life makeover page. I'm obsessed with this game. It was a collage. Thumbnails and like doodles and notes and all that. This is based on another dream that I had. And this, this whole book is just full of like concepts I might do and or might not do. It just depends on like what I'm feeling. In the future, but this was like based on a dream that I had, and she was it's like some schoolgirl. She had like this weapon. She felt she was finding like supernatural beings or something like that, and she had like friendship issues or something. It was I wrote it down somewhere, so I don't really remember everything at the moment. But that was basically the gist of it. Thumbnails, Vo again, and this was an inside joke with my friends in the anime club because I really hate Gojo because I see the dude everywhere, so I'm just like. I can't with this dude. I keep seeing him everywhere and I just, I'm tired of it. So this was like a sketch or like concepts for an idea I had. 
Um, it was based on a story concept I came up with like a year or two ago. It was called, and uh, it was gonna be called like Mellow Beats or something like that. And the characters had like these um, music note shaped heads or whatever. But for, I just, this page was just frustrating the crap out of me because I had a pen I was using and it was just, you know that thing where you're writing with like a pen and then it stops working, but then you go to another part of the page and it works just fine. That kept happening. So I just got really upset with this and it made me so mad. Anyway, some more sketches or whatever, just stuff. Kind of a botched page, I'm gonna be honest. Not, I was trying to draw conjoined twins. I've wanted to make like conjoined twin like characters for a while. I just never got around to like coming up with like a story for a potential idea based on that or whatever. And this was supposed to be a redraw of this, but it looks terrible. So we're going to ignore that. Then we have Eileen and this is me trying to do something experimental with markers of all things. I've kind of, Abandoned my markers and I wanted to try something different again. Yeah, I do like how this came out But I feel like I should have done it digitally because it looks kind of rough Collage page. This is like wrapper stuff from like fudge that I got from Otakon and then we have a page of The alien stage casts thoughts on Eileen. Oh boy So <laughs> we have Till and Till is really pissed because I just wanted to see her pet alien. She bit my wrist Conclusion Till does not like Eileen this is Itty. He's Frenchied. And Itty is Eileen's pet alien. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna assume that, like, Itty just is, like, some sort of worm creature that just sort of stumbled into a Nox garden, and then Eileen found him, and she just kept him as a pet. Here's Eileen. She's very protective of Itty, by the way, which is why she doesn't want anyone to, like, come near him. And this is just... Look at him. He's so cute. That's adorable. But yeah, she's very protective of him, so... And then we have Ivan, Eileen. I don't really care much about her. Conclusion, Ivan doesn't give a shit. Yeah, sounds about right. He's just kind of like, eh, whatever. Then we have Luca, who? Conclusion, Luca doesn't even know who she is. Sounds about right. Then we have Mitzi and Sua, reading an ominous aura. Conclusion, Mitzi and Sua are scared of Eileen. <laughs> sounds about right. And then we have Huna. I tried to befriend her, but she's really weird. Conclusion, Huna's weird out by Eileen. And then we have a bonus itty doodle. So yeah, no one really likes Eileen too much. I feel like the only person that like kind of wanted to like get to know her was Huna. This was a class doodle and then I colored it at home. This is uh, based on a drawing that someone did that was, they showed in class and I wanted to draw it out because I was like, oh, this feels so Lavender Town. Like the eyes are just so, yeah, I had to draw it out. And I remember I made a community post and someone said it reminded them of thing one or thing two or whatever. So I was like, oh yeah, it kind of does. In a really weird way. It's like a yassified cutesy anime girl version of thing one. I don't know what it was going for the like the hands or whatever. It was weird. Then we have this uh, thing. It was kind of a vent, but also not really. I don't know. What makes a doll cry? A candy coated lie. What a fun rhyme. I have no idea what that means though. I have a really bizarre page. This is another class doodle, but I added all the other stuff when I got home. And uh, the coloring as well was also done at home. I'm not sure what the heck's going on here. I like this bunny though. This Russian bunny looks really cute. And caterpillar creature, butterflies. I was just in a weird mood that day. I don't know why. And this, it's, it's just freaking me out a little bit. It's kind of creepy looking. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, ugh. Uh, thumbnail sketches for my. Well, as I was recording this, is my current assignment. But yeah. Those are the other thumbnails, ice cream. Oh, <laughs> Otakondi's nuts. Then we have like, this is a character concept that I had, but I never really followed through with it because I, honestly, I should have done it digitally because the colors look terrible here. And then, oh, more thumbnail stuff from the other, for the assignment. This is a redraw of a screenshot from my one of my life makeover characters. I really like how it looks. Ooh, this spread is really fun. But it's a bit rough because I had to um, add a lot of tape in the middle because it was starting to fall apart a little bit. So yeah, it's very colorful. These are all from like this magazine thing or like a subscription thing or whatever that my parents have. So I just cut out the clocks from it. And yeah, oh look, more tea. I love chamomile tea. It's delicious. I just realized that's it. Because I never really got around to finishing the rest of it because it's this isn't a chunky book, but I just kind of felt like um, I just didn't really feel like continuing and you know what that's fine I don't really want to force myself to continue a sketchbook. So if I feel like it's done, it's done 
Oh yeah, here's the back. It got kind of roughed out, which is why I don't really decorate the backside too much. Or I don't go too crazy with the backside because it's gonna get roughed up a little bit. And it says, loving you is a fairy tale come true. Very cute. Fortunately, it's starting to come apart a little bit. I put Maj Paj over it, but yeah, it still was kind of getting a little bit yucky. And here, it kind of was falling apart a little bit too. Especially at the, the side, had to cover it with tape and all that. And it sucks, but it happens. So hopefully you guys enjoy the sketchbook tour and I'll see you quite later.